Welcome to the second lesson. I'm going to show you how to create 45 degree angles using both triangles. In lesson 1, we covered horizontal lines, vertical lines and 90 degree angles. 45 degree angles are also very important. We need them to be able to construct certain gems for example. For this technique to work, you need the same type of triangles I am using. They can be bigger or smaller, but they need a 90 degree angle here and 45 degree angles in these corners. Let's go back to the starting position I showed you in lesson 1. If you have not watched lesson 1 yet, please do so before continuing with this video. It all will make more sense then. Just a quick repetition of lesson 1. On the bottom is the anchor triangle and on the top the working triangle. The anchor triangle is fixed. The working triangle moves against the anchor triangle. I use the top edge to draw horizontal lines and the other edge for vertical lines. A 90 degree angle or cross is created by intersecting both lines. Let's now practice the 45 degree position. I take the anchor triangle and rotate it so it sits on top of the working triangle. It reminds me a little bit of a mountain. This is how I remember this position. I just show it to you again. First, in the starting position, Rotate the lower or anchor triangle on top of the working triangle. The former working triangle is now the anchor triangle. The top triangle or former anchor triangle is the one now that moves. If we use this edge we can create 45 degree lines in this direction. And if you use this edge in the other direction. Now I am going to show you how to draw a 45 degree line through the intersection point. In the starting position I align the triangles with a horizontal line. I move the working triangle down to create space. The cross is not covered by a triangle anymore. I rotate the lower triangle to change to the 45 degree position. Align one edge with the intersection point and draw a 45 degree line. Then I use the other edge. Now it's all about practicing. You can make different patterns using horizontal and vertical lines, 90 and 45 degree angles. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye!